Well, good morning, Calvary. It is Good Friday, and I'm thankful to be here to share your word for the day today. You know, as we think back to where the world was 2,000 years ago in the story of Jesus, today was not a good day. Jesus had spent about six hours on the cross, and by 3 p.m., Jesus had breathed his last here on earth. Scripture says that for three hours there was darkness upon the land, and when Jesus breathed his last breath, the veil of the curtain was torn into, the earth shook, and the tombs of the dead were opened. It says even the, the Roman centurion who watched over the crucifixion saw these events and said, surely this was the Son of God. And Scripture says that that evening a man named Joseph from Arimathea came to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. You know, he was a wealthy man who had commissioned a tomb to be carved out for his future burial. It was a brand new tomb, and he decided that Jesus deserved a proper burial. So he, along with Mary and Mary Magdalene, took the body of Jesus and wrapped his body in burial clothes and sealed up the tomb. The, see, this day had not gone the way anyone expected. No one understood how Jesus could actually be dead, how, and they were trying their best to, to deal with the situation that they were in. And Joseph saw an opportunity here to be generous and serve God with what he had. Now, this was a day full of mourning, full of pain, full of disappointment and grief, and full of confusion. Yet, this is a day now known as Good Friday. Why? Well, because three days later, Jesus rose from that tomb. He took off his burial clothes and left. He conquered sin, death, and hell, and turned what should have been the worst day in all history into the day of great news. So today we celebrate and remember Good Friday because we who deserve death, hell, and condemnation have, re have received grace, life, and forgiveness through Jesus. The great exchange has taken place and Jesus on that cross took our sin upon himself so that we could have his perfect righteousness. And that indeed is good news. And that indeed is a reason to call this day a Good Friday. I hope that you're able to reflect on what Jesus did for you on the cross, and I hope that you'll join us for Easter this weekend. So if you're in Lake Havasu, join us tomorrow at 3.30 or 5 p.m., or also online at those times. Or join us Easter Sunday at 8, 9.30, 11 in Havasu or online. If you're watching from Parker, it'll be 11 a.m. on Sunday. We hope you have a wonderful Good Friday, and we hope to see you this Easter as we worship Jesus together.